The language of sim racing and motorsport in general can be insightful, useful and even a bit poetic at times. But if you're not already fluent in it, it's not much use at all. So here's part one of our glossary containing all the words that get thrown around all the time in sim racing but which might not make sense to newcomers. We've got a lot of ground to cover here so let's take a deep breath and get into it. Aero is an abbreviation of aerodynamics which is the study of forces exerted on an object as it passes through the air. Modern race cars are shaped to cut out the air as quickly as possible and to channel it advantageously to help the car's handling. Also, yes, obviously it is a chocolate bar too, but let's not let our minds drift off to food or we'll never fit in those bucket seats. Onwards to the apex. This is the point of the corner found in the middle of its inside line. It's almost always the point you want to hit when you turn in because it gives you the best angle for corner exit. Miss the apex and you'll be wearing the driver behind you like a backpack down the following straight. Which brings us neatly onto thank you conveniently placed text. A car running off the pace near the rear of the field is called a back marker. Come on, out of the way mate. Actual good driver coming through here. Right, physics lesson. Most cars apply a bit more force to the front brakes than the rear. This helps the driver to avoid locking up the rear wheels since all the weight's at the front of the car and the rear is suddenly lighter. The brake bias describes that distribution of braking force and is usually expressed as a ratio like 60-40, which is ironically also my ratio of locking up and stacking it versus actually making the turn. But let's not dwell on that. Next! You'll hear the word compound a lot in F1 races in particular, but its meaning extends across all motorsport. It's just the composition of a tyre. Softer compounds give more grip but wear out quicker, whereas harder compounds are more durable at the expense of less grip. And next up is a good way to absolutely light up your tyres and wear them out very quickly indeed. Counter steering is a handy technique in which the driver turns the front wheels in the direction of a slide to prevent the car from spinning out of control. Never mind, you can always blame the frame skip or the guy behind, or even the guy in front. You see, when a car cuts through the air, it disrupts it. So when you follow behind a car, you're getting that disrupted, aerodynamically undesirable, dirty air. A bit like driving in a very localised tornado. Eat your heart out, Bill Paxton. From air slowing you down to air speeding you up now. Downforce is absolutely key in motor racing and it really just refers to the downward force a car generates as it moves through the air. Downforce helps you stick to the track, which helps you turn in quicker and maintain grip through corners. Downshifting means changing down from high to low gearing in sequence, usually while braking in preparation for a turn. We love this one. Dropping the hammer is stepping on that accelerator pedal until it hits the floor for max acceleration. And we wouldn't recommend dropping the hammer for this next one. S's like the famous Senna S's that begin the lap at Interlagos are a series of left and right hand turns, one turn immediately following the other. Now then, fish sailing might sound like millennial dating slang, but thankfully for us all, it's a lot more straightforward than that. In fact, it's the movement of the rear of the car from side to side, usually because it's been unbalanced too far to one side or the other and the driver's trying to counter it. In other words, if you find yourself fish tailing, you've made a real mess of things and you're trying to correct it with minimum fuss. A bit like my dating experiences after all then. Another one for fans of dropping the hammer, shout out to you guys. Flat out means top speed and it's usually used when talking about corners you don't need to lower your speed for. For example, can you do a rouge flat out? And is it Radion actually? Force feedback is a sensation you feel through a PC steering wheel to simulate a car's behaviour. You can increase or reduce it in a racing sim settings menu to suit your taste. Ok, hands up who hadn't heard this one before. Right, remind me to never get in a car with you. A hairpin is a sharp 180 degree turn which exits the opposite direction that a driver enters. And it's a lot more fun to take these when your car's hooked up. When you hook up a car you've set it up perfectly and it's driving as well as can be. A lovely feeling to be savoured. That's where we conclude this sim racing glossary but we'll be back with the latter half of the alphabet soon so subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss it. Do hit that thumbs up button if this helped you and let us know your favourite racing sim terms below in the comments, as well as those hand on heart you've never really understood. No judging here. We'll catch you next time.